The 2022 legislative session starts on Monday with Governor Brad Little's fourth state of the state address. It's his opportunity to lay out his legislative and budget priorities, such as education and tax relief for Idahoans. But he's not the only one with a priority list. Democrats and Republicans in the legislature have their top issues to tackle as well. I talked with House Minority Leader Democrat Ilana Rubel and Republican Speaker of the House Scott Bedke. Big topics that came up include tax relief in general, property tax relief, fixing the foster care system, repairing roads and bridges, and dealing with drought and wildfires. And both said education is a top priority for their parties. It's really unforgivable with the amount of money that we have in the bank that we continue to be last place in America on education funding. And it's starting to pan out in our numbers. We've been seeing dropping literacy, dropping go on rates, dropping high school graduation rates. Um, it's really impacting our future and the future of our children in bad ways um, and beyond funding uh, full day kindergarten, which is a very top priority just across the board. We've got to get teacher pay to a competitive rate. Um, and frankly, we'd like to see some some facilities funding because that's another thing that's hitting property taxpayers. We understand that the most critical component of a good education in Idaho is a, is a good teacher and our particularly in our K-12 systems and, and particularly in the K through three. We want our kids leaving the third grade reading at grade level. And uh, uh, We've got to be on top of our literacy issues here. And did we give, and it would seem from some of the early data that we've given some of uh, the scores back, at least uh, when it comes to literacy in, in K through three, and we, can't, and, we, and we can't allow that to happen. We've got to get on top of that. This Sunday on Viewpoint, Representatives Rubel and Bedke also discussed their party's other priorities and how they want to use the state's $1.6 billion budget surplus. Viewpoint airs Sunday morning at 9 o'clock here on News Channel 7. Then on Monday, we'll bring you the Governor's State of the State Address live at 1 o'clock on News Channel 7, KTVB.com and the KTVB YouTube channel.